Hi guys, it's Amanda from the Binky Bunny Shed here and I thought I'd do a little video on showing you how I set up the hutch ready for Rocky when he comes back from his neuter. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick video on it and um, showing you what I've changed and what I did so that will be comfortable for when he comes home. Um, so first of all you want to consider where you're going to put your rabbit um, when he comes back from the neuter or spay. So if your rabbit is outdoors and it's the winter I would recommend you take your rabbits indoors um, just so it's warmer for them because um, when after they've had um, a neutral spay it's a bit of a shock for them and it's better if they're nice and warm instead of outside in the cold and um, so literally it's almost spring here <coughs> so it's not too bad and they're already in a shed anyway so what I've done is I've just used the bottom tier of my hutch so you want to give them enough space so they can hop around but not too much space where they can run and um, so this will be like this for a couple of days and sometimes it can take longer for female rabbits because their operation is a bit more abrasive um, and they usually recover um, longer than their male rabbits so I'll show you inside what I've done so first of all I've got the water bottle so you need to make sure they've got access to water and um, fresh water all the time like usual either in a water bottle or in a dish but I like using, using water bottles um, there's Speckle at the moment <laughs> he's just having a wash he's been doing really really well so open the door so you want to give them a fresh supply of hay um, so I've just put some hay at the bottom there's just some cat litter the bio cat litter and Speckle has decided to come inside no you need to come out no you can stay out now and um, yeah so lots of fresh hay for them I've put a dish um, with some pellets in not too many but just enough so that's in a heavy ceramic bowl so they can't knock it over Speckle come out one second Okay, Speckle wants to jump inside. <laughs> so I will just let him jump inside and I'll clean up after. Um, so another top tip is you shouldn't really use wood shavings. So if you do use wood shavings, um, just use fleece instead or just straw and hay because the wood shavings can get into their, um, into their stitches and cut um, and you don't really want that to happen. You're a good boy, aren't you? They're very lively. It's only a day after his new so he's really lively. And um, so what I've done is I've done a hutch liner for them. So this is just a, a nice piece of fleece. And what I've done is I've sewn in a waterproof bed mat, bed pad. And I've sewn that in like a um, you would do a pillowcase. And um, just so that if they do weigh on it, um it soaks it up and it doesn't go through onto the base of the hutch so it's nice and soft for him for when Rocky comes back um, and I've also put another extra fleece underneath so there's just a bit more padding at the back um, and when I do bring him home I'm going to put the carrier that I've taken him in straight into the hutch so then he's got a, like, a little hidey area and it's dark for him um, so yeah that's what the hutch like looks like and I've also taken out the ramp so he can't get to the top tier so he can't jump too high. Speckle what are you doing? Come out now, come on. Are you missing Rocky are you? Are you eating his food? <laughs> He's like oh I want to eat his food first. <laughs> so another thing that I've done, I should get that. I have um, put this piece of fleece on top so I can put, whoops, I've st stood in the vegetables that's not good um, so when he comes I can just put that piece of fleece all the way down and he's got a little protective area as well so they can still see each other through that little bit but he's got his own privacy as well if he wants it so yeah that's what I've done um, to the hutch 
for when Rocky comes back for his neuter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if any, if you, anyone's got any requests or anything like that, um, please let me know. Put it in the down bar. So I'll see you soon. Bye.